CapCut is a popular cross-platform video editor. I'm using it regularly while creating my AI films because it has beginner-friendly interface and it renders films much faster than other tools, making it a game changer for me. CapCut team recently rolled out some cool new AI features. In this video, I will show you how to level up your videos with AI-generated assets and visuals inside CapCut from quick B-roll to full storytelling sequences. CapCut can be downloaded for free. Note that some features I will discuss later may require CapCut Pro or free trial. Let's get started. You can access AI features on CapCut desktop app or web app. I'm using desktop app today. You can see some of the AI features like AI fashion model on homepage widgets. These widgets allow you to access these features quickly. We will come back to widgets later, but now I would like to start by creating a new project. Here in the Media tab, you will realize a new section called AI Media. When you open it, you will realize three different options are visible here. AI Image Generation, AI Video, and Dialog Scene. CapCut's AI Text to Image allows you to create images from text prompts. These generated images can serve as a visual assets within your video or as a storyboard elements. Let's generate an image using this prompt. General version 3 model is pre-selected automatically. You can change aspect ratio of your image. There are a variety of options you can pick from. I will choose 16 to 9 and I hit generate. Once I hit generate, it will automatically add a block to my timeline. Every generation creates four different options that you can choose from. Whichever option you think is the best, you can select it. Once you are happy with the one of the results, you can take full advantage of CapCut's powerful features. Like for example, you can click on Adjust and you can do a variety of different color correction options. You can change brightness, contrast, and you can play with it. Then you click on Video tab, you will realize a couple of AI features that you can use from. For example, Enhance Image automatically improves the image quality and with image enhancement, your images will look much more crisp and higher resolution. You can also expand the image if you want using AI. Just click on this tab and then in this small section underneath AI Expand, hit Generate. And then this will expand your image. What if I want to build a cinematic narrative using consistent characters? It is possible to do that on CapCut using Reference feature. For that, select AI image and click on Reference underneath the prompt box. And then this will allow you to choose a reference image. And once you attach the image, the system will scan it and you can actually choose what type of reference you want to use. You can use object reference, face reference, or instead you can reference the whole character instead of choosing. In this case, I will choose character. I will ensure that intensity is very similar, both for face and whole body similarity, and I will hit save. Now, we are ready to generate some new scenes using reference feature. This time, I want to generate a scene where my robot is actually sitting next to fire. I will update my prompt a little bit, ensuring that I reflect exactly what I need, and I will hit generate again. All generated results are listed under AI media window here, and here's my robot sitting next to the fire. You can download generated options using three dot icon here, and you can choose download or image the video, which I will show you in a second. If you want to create a timeline view, you can duplicate this block, using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And here you can choose our original result. And here you have the scene where our robot is sitting next to fire. Using the character reference feature, I created scenes with a consistent character captured in various cinematic shot types for my timeline. I obfuscate them and arrange them according to the narrative. Now I will show you how to animate them. CapCut supports image to video and text to video. You can find AI video option on the left hand side underneath AI media section. This feature creates AI generated video content from existing images. It can be utilized to animate still frames, create dynamic scenes and bring conceptual images to life, adding a rich visual dimension to your storytelling. Now I'm going to use image to video. For this you can use a single frame or instead you can set first frame and last frame of your video and ask AI to generate what's in between. Let's start with single frame. You can of course import images from your computer directly to CapCut AI video. Alternatively, you can click on one of the still images, right click and choose image to video. This will then automatically add the still image to video section. Underneath the attached image, you can type your video prompt. For example, we can say, for example, we can say the robot is looking around. I will use the default selected model, video G3, but alternatively, you can also use CV version 1 Pro. 
Let's choose this for now. You can set duration 5 seconds or 10 seconds and you can change aspect ratio to vertical or horizontal format. Let's hit generate. Our video generation started and our video is ready. Let's see the result. It's really fun to be able to turn these still images one by one to dynamic videos. This visual storyboarding format really simplifies image to video workflow for me. Of course, when you generate videos inside CapCut, you have access to CapCut's powerful video editor. For example, you can just change length of this video directly here. Then you can directly align everything using track magnet. For example, you can remove objects from your video. For that, you need to select your video. Come right here to AI Remove, select this option and allow changes. Then CapCut will scan your video. Then using Brush Tool, you can automatically select these mountains and then ask AI to remove it. And mountains are gone. Additionally, you can use first frame and last frame to generate a video. I will import first frame. Here my character is reading the book. This will be my first frame and this close up will be my last frame. I will choose now Seaweed version 1 and let's generate the video. And my video is ready and my video is ready. Where two frames nicely connected to each other. The CapCut AI is really one stop shop for your all AI filled needs. They here even lip sync. I want to show you that but my main character doesn't have lips. So instead I will show you lip sync with a side character here. This buried robot. For this job I'm selecting the clip and coming here to choose the lip sync option under video tab. And here you can enter a text, pick your voice, and then this will create text to speech for your character. Of course, if you have already pre-created audio, you can upload it here. And then CapCut AI will create lip sync for you with the uploaded audio. For now, let's create a text to speech. So I wrote, we've lost the battle, made mistakes, era of wisdom is over. Now let's go to voices library. There's quite an extensive library of voices that you can select on CapCut AI. I'll choose English as a language. I kind of like this sound of Luca. Let's hear it. We've lost the battle. Maji mistakes. Era of wisdom is over. I selected my voice and I will click on OK. And for lip syncing model, I will stay with standard model and hit generate. It's a side profile shot. And frankly, it's a difficult one. Let's see if it will be able to recognize the lips of our character. And our lip sync is ready. Let's hear it. We've lost the battle. Maji mistakes. Era of wisdom is over. CapCut's AI text-to-speech converts text into a natural sounding speech, as you saw in the example, directly within the app. And they are offering a variety of AI voice actors. This is valuable for cinematic storytelling as it enables the creation of consistent narration and character voiceover and things like that. We can add a narration to our story, for example. For that, we choose text and just add a text layer for now. I will add this to the beginning and click on text to speech. We can say world as we know has ended. I'm clicking on text to speech. I will choose a voice. Let's say narrative mail. World as we know has ended. I will hit generate speech and it automatically generated an AI sound from the text I entered. Now I can remove this and then just stay with the audio file. And here's our result. World as we know has ended. If you want to complete your project with a cinematic color correction, you can apply one of CapCut's pre-built cinematic loots. For that, you need to click on filters and under movie section, you will find plenty of cool cinematic looking loots that you can apply and elevate your AI videos with a final cinematic look. You can add directly to your timeline. You can change the intensity. Maybe this is a little too dark. And then you can simply just drag and drop throughout all of your film. Last thing I want to show you is AI fashion model. You can access AI fashion model features using homepage widgets on CapCut's homepage and you can create AI ads. You can simply upload your piece of garment with your own branding on it and showcase it on a model for creating AI generated ads. Let's make an example. I'm going to upload a piece of garment. Here's the cyber jungle hoodie. And I'm going to simply choose a model. Keep in mind that you don't have to use existing library of models. You can also generate your own model or upload your own model. For the simplicity, I will use one of the existing model and choose hoodie filter. Then this will simply bring some suitable models from the existing library of CapCut AI. I will simply choose this one, allow it. 
and hit generate. And here's the model wearing my hoodie. You can hit save and save it to your computer. Details look absolutely correct and accurate. Branding looks fantastic. Then you can add generated image here add to your timeline and using AI video option, you can simply generate an AI ad. So are you ready to try CapCut AI for yourself? Hit the link in the description, download it for free and let me know which feature blew your mind the most. Thanks for watching. See you next time.